Well, it's sure not hot dogs and <laughs> firecrackers. It's um, our independence and our forefathers and how hard they fought so we could be so we could be sitting here doing this. Today, though, I'm celebrating, I'm not celebrating our independence. I'm celebrating the lack, I'm protesting the lack of our independence because we have none. And I'm um, here for justice for our political prisoners and liberty and justice for all. That's what we need. For that's what Every day our freedom is eroding. <laughs> Every day our freedom is eroding and it gets worse and worse all the time. And I'm so happy to be here. We're protesting because the Patriots are being held here unjustly. You know, 25 of them, they're dear souls. They've been in prison for now for seven months. And we don't want them to want them to think we forgot about them because we haven't. They're really the bravest among us, you know, they really are. I just want to thank Leo for coming out. And, so. What does the 4th mean to you guys? The 4th of July used to mean barbecues, uh, fireworks, flags, um, just hanging out with friends and this year the 4th means something totally different because I've learned so much about our United States Constitution that um, the 4th of July has lost a lot of its meaning that it used to have and now for the 4th of July I want to see us regain what the meaning was which was independence and freedom and um, that the people would be big and the government would be small and since I've learned that that's not really how our country is being run um, the 4th of July seems more like a, a memorial day for me celebrating remembering what somebody once did um, for our freedoms that are, have since been lost um, so. Um, I woke up first thing this morning and took out my uncle's prisoner of war plaque and I look at his medals and I think of how he suffered for, to fight for our freedoms of our country and how it's pretty much gone in vain and I think about all the wars that were fought over money and greed and they were not even for what they say they were so it makes me very emotional and I think that if anybody doesn't stand up to our government right, right now like Roger said you should put a urinal on your grave. It is everything people. It, it means that it, that this country, this country is for the people. It's for truth and justice in our legal system. I'm a former uh, prosecutor, uh, ran for governor in 98. We have a police state. In a police state, you have, no, you have no remedy at all. And we have a police state because they've corrupted the judicial process. These, uh, to these quasi judicial administrative law judges that are taking people's children and their property and their freedom in these sham proceedings because the people let them do it, people. I, when I go into that courtroom now with a crowd of people, the judges do what they're supposed to do sit there quietly while you make a public record of your injury so that you can have remedy. Unless you can make your injury a matter of public record, it's not a legal fact. And you cannot have remedy unless you make your injury a matter of, plea, of, of public record. And so any of you that are out there that are being abused by the system, my name is Roger Widener. If you go, if you go to YouTube, uh, uh, Facebook, uh, put in Widener Roger, you'll see a lot of this. I'm available for anyone who's had their children or their property wrongfully taken. Just get a small group of supporters together so that when we go to court, we have, we're we all a, a single purpose. And that's to make a public record of the injury that innocent people are suffering in this community. Today means a uh, day of liberty from uh, the uh, uh, chains of tyranny. So we're God-fearing patriots and we're here to support the um, liberty of uh, people that have been unjustly assassinated or jailed. What does the 4th of July mean to you? Well, I'll tell you, I, I'm one of these people that was guilty of keeping my head buried in the sand until they murdered Lavoy Finnicum. And that was my call to come back and stand up for what is right because you don't shoot a man three times in the back with his hands in a surrender pose up in the air. And so that kind of got me going, and now I'm here to support all of these prisoners who have been illegally prosecuted on trumped up charges. And I'm just here to show my love and support for them, and I'll be here till the end. The 4th of July means freedom. What the, what the patriots in the day, days of old did to free our country from a tyrannous, tyrannical government that didn't care. 
uh, from the people who believed in the South that that slavery and injustice was okay, and uh, so we fought to free everybody. Everybody has the right to be free. And so on the 4th of July, we celebrate. And if, if Obama doesn't like the way we wave our flag and, and celebrate, he can go back to where he came from. Uh, same with anybody else. You don't like the way we wave our flag, you don't like the way we say amen, then go back to where you came from because this country is not for you. If you want to be free, uh, then come to America and be free. Uh, but otherwise, go home. But the 4th of July means our freedom and our way of life to live it the way we want to live it. And if you don't allow us to live it the way we want to live it, then you're tyrants. And you need to go get out of office. And somebody else needs to be there to do the job. Because you are hired by us, not not just self-appointed. So I think Hillary should be in jail, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. We can we can try, but not sure that we're gonna we're gonna have uh, that happen. Uh, so we're gonna do our best. To me, it means for the freedoms that we have, the freedoms of, that we you know should understand and know and appreciate, and that are laid down by our forefathers and our constitution. But sadly, it's not reflected in today's culture. And uh, I hope that, that uh, people raise their awareness of, of what how this country was built, how this country was founded, and not get. You know, too wrapped up in just the barbecue and the day off, you know? And like a two or three when you know, who can't quite talk yet. You know, they're understanding and comprehending, but yet they can't talk back. Red, white, blue. Yeah, yeah. That works. It's true. Okay. It's just you have a two or three.